Fruit labels are pesky little things, and even AI doesn't stand a chance. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a great technology and considered by Google CEO Sundar Pichai to be more important than fire or electricity. No doubt AI is powerful, but just like fire, it's not useful without the right context. Fire can be bad sometimes, burning down houses, and it can be good sometimes, helping us cook delicious food. Just like how teenagers can be enamored by fire, some companies are getting enamored by AI. Before your company decides to jump in and arbitrarily implement AI, it might be useful to consider some context. First, your organization needs to have a clear strategy. To do that, you need clear goals. If the goal is to increase growth and profitability, there are many strategies to achieve that. Perhaps it's through product differentiation, think Apple. Perhaps it's through process optimization, think Walmart. Perhaps it's through platform that brings people together, think Uber. Or perhaps it's through exceptional service, think Four Seasons. Once you know your strategy, you can design, architect, and automate the right parts of your company to achieve your vision. Design is about creating great human experiences. If your competitive advantage is your distribution system, then you should design great human experiences for people who interact with that distribution system. Architecture is about understanding how all the parts to realize the design come together and interact with one another. Finally, automation of the architecture can be done by using technology to provide the speed, scalability, and consistency. AI is one such powerful technology, though it often requires the support of other technologies like big data to manage the data and cloud for a place to put it. I'm going to use a very simple example to illustrate my point. Selling groceries is a very thin margin business. So you have to save as much money as you can so you can pass on the savings to customers. Lower prices will drive more customers to your store. This grocery store, which we'll call Pickles, has already installed self-checkout counters. It further wants to speed up the checkout process. One of the slow items to check out is fruits. Take a Bartlett pear for example. Customers will have to enter the code 4409 to scan out the pear. The label itself is poor design because you have to peel the label off before you eat it. And sometimes these labels are sticky and you need long fingernails to peel it off, which in turn dings the fruit. And then you have to find a trash bin to flick the label into complicated and poorly designed. There's a lot of architecture to support this design. All grocery stores and farmers have to agree upon and standardize the code for Bartlett pairs. It has to be updated into the billing system and checkout software. Label makers have to create labels. Vacuum-based machinery sticks those labels onto the fruit and people have to maintain and service the system and so on and on. Pickles decided to get rid of the labels to speed up the checkout process. It plans to use a computer vision system to scan and recognize fruits. The effort is aligned with Pickles' vision of operational efficiency. So we're good there. What about the design though? Customers typically place the fruit into translucent bags and you don't want them to take the fruit out of the bag to be scanned. For the system to work well, the bags have to be replaced by transparent ones. This means that the bag supplier requirements change to now switch from translucent to transparent bags. From the architectural perspective, a computer vision camera has to be installed over the scanning system. Since there are no more labels, many companies will lose business. The label maker, the label shipping company, the label sticker equipment maker, some employees, and so on. Many will fight this new proposal. So just implementing an AI solution is not enough. You have to consider the larger context around it. 
process changes, vendor relationships, jobs lost or reassigned, cost changes, legacy systems that have to be upgraded, business metrics, data collection, capability changes, and a whole lot more. All for a small fruit sticker. Design, architecture, and technology have to be considered in a tightly integrated context of your company's vision and strategy to make the implementation meaningful. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. If you like my consulting help, shoot me an email. Thank you. Thank you.